Hi friends, we're coming into the Passover season and I want to just talk to all of us in our global spiritual family, talk a little bit about the meaning of Passover. I want to give you a thought today, which actually comes from uh, rabbinic thought. And it goes like this, it says, the last redemption will be like the first redemption. Uh, what does that mean? It means that the first redemption is speaking of the story of Moses, the story of the Exodus, children of Israel coming out of Egypt, that whole series of historical events. The last redemption is talking about the end times, the coming of the Messiah in glory, a redemption that affects the entire nation of Israel and the world, the clash of the powers in this earth. And it says there will be one is like the other. Hmm, what does that mean? Think about it this way. I don't know that there's any story in the Bible, historical event, that has more pages, if you could, in the whole Bible than the story of the Exodus. Because it's not just in the whole book of Exodus, it's actually been referred back to many times as the founding event of, of, of history. In the Psalms, they go back and refer to it. And then when you come up into the New Covenant, you see that Yeshua goes back to that same point, Jesus, to, on the Passover Seder, that's where he puts his own crucifixion and resurrection in the midst of that Passover story. So it, it was the national historical redemption of Israel. And then it becomes universal personal salvation at the time of the Gospels. But I'm saying there's a whole nother dimension coming, which is like that first event in Egypt, there's a parallel to what will happen in the end times when Yeshua returns. What will it mean? There was a world empire at the time of the Pharaoh. There was an evil empire. By the way, I always say this, there was a good Pharaoh in the time of Genesis and Joseph and a bad Pharaoh in the time of Exodus and Moses. So it, it doesn't mean that they're all good or all bad. Some are good and some bad. But there will be a worldwide empire of evil. There is no better picture in the Bible of what the end times evil empire will be like than when you look at the Pharaoh's empire at the time of Moses. There will be plagues. Did you ever make the connection between the plagues in the book of Revelation and the plagues that are in the, uh, the book of Exodus? Sure, they're connected because the plagues are small judgments leading up to the big judgment. At the time of Egypt, it was talking about the Red Sea and the destruction, historical destruction of Egypt. But we're coming up on something much bigger, much more important. We're talking about the coming of the Messiah, the punishment of the kingdoms of this world, the emerging of the kingdom of God in the midst of such difficulty that it could only be described like what happened in the book of, of Exodus. There's so many things there, us being like in the land of Goshen, having authority to proclaim the judgments of God. We need to get ready. So here's the key. Join what you see in the book of Exodus to what you see in the book of Revelation. Put them together and understand that it's all one pattern, one plan of God, so that we can be ready to stand in faith and truth in these end times. God bless you. First redemption like the last redemption, last redemption, like the first redemption.